If there's one species that's grown in popularity, it has to be the squid. There's angles now that are literally dedicated to catching them. And you know what? This is the perfect location. A bit of reef, seagrass beds, a little bit of cover. That is ideal squid country. When it comes to catching them, the prawn style jig, is, it's absolutely revolutionized the way we fish. Now, the complicated part is they come in every size and color imaginable. From a tiny little guy like that, which is a little size two, right up to size three, and they keep going. So how do you tell the difference? Which one do you use? As a really basic guide, the shallower the water, the smaller squid you're chasing, the smaller jig. The heavier the jig, or the larger the jig, the deeper the water. That way, you're still working through the water column. So once you find that right ground, you know, the kelp or seagrass bed, the next step is just to drift across it, but fan those casts out. The more people casting, the better. So the key is let it sink down at least halfway down the water column, and then a slow stop start. So and you pull it up, and it comes forward, and then starts drifting down. Now, when the squid grabs it, he'll come in, grab it like that, and then steady weight will pull him down onto those hooks. Don't yank it, don't strike, because if you do, quite often he'll either end up with just a tentacle or he'll just pull himself off. So if I hook a squid now, Steph winds up, casts straight over the back of me, because squid are never ever on their own. They've always got mates, and if you hook one, you get the rest of them fired up, so you turn a single hook up into a double. The key to catching the squid is just persistence. Just keep going and going and going, and you will catch them. The biggest problem is do you eat them or do you use them as bait?